Hello and welcome uh, to our tutorial video today on how to use uh, Canva to make a calendar and, and then order it for printing, ideally on our website. So uh, what we've done this year is we've taken Canva, which is a great design software, and we've set up a, a Alberta uh, specific calendar template. So all you have to do is swap the photos out. You can do it from your phone or uh, computer. So today we're gonna do that. This is the quality of the calendar, beautiful printing. Uh, and we're gonna do that right now. So on our website here under contact us is templates. Under the templates, we have a variety of templates available. Just click on whether you want a square calendar or the standard 11 by eight and a half. You're gonna click that, open up the template, use the template of course. And then uh, you will have to uh, make a Canva account. There's a free account. I do recommend the pro account uh, only because you get access to a wider variety, but it is not needed if you're simply editing this. So when you open this template, you have your own version of this. So it's a copy of the template. So all you have to do here, you can see we've got the cover, uh, the first image, and then all the months are set up. So we've set it up for Alberta. So there's a family day, Alberta. So all the holidays are in. Uh, the first thing you can do is change the photos out. So uh, you can either upload your own photos. So if you had your own photo you'd taken, you would simply uh, detach the current image and then you can do things like set images background and boom now you have your own photo that you've taken uh, you can call it your family calendar and you can simply go through detach the images from the backgrounds and upload your own photos so uh, and you just kind of go through month by month another thing you can do if you get the Canva Pro account if you run out of photos, these are all stock photos that we put in from Canva. So say you wanted, you were a big uh, roller coaster enthusiast and you were wanting to do something like that, or you just couldn't think of uh, a last photo. Canva Pro has a really wide variety of images. So you could put something uh, like roller coaster and uh, you could find an amazing photo of a roller coaster set images background. We don't want to do that one. Let's say like this one. Boom. Now you have your February one. Or uh, if you wanted the Rocky Mountains, you want to spell it right. And there's some um, beautiful photos of stuff like this, right? So let's say we love this one. Set images background. Now you have a beautiful photo. Uh, for that month. So you might, you might want to fill in some of the gaps with some stock photos if you don't have one for each month. The other thing you can do here is you can add in um, special dates. So say there's a birthday on July 5th, control C, control V or copy paste. You can go uh, Cindy's birthday and I can add personal stuff into your calendar. So this is totally editable. Uh, the simplest thing you can do is go and delete the images that are in pop in your own uh, and you can go as much as you can change the font uh, if you wanted a different font you can do that anything you want to do and when, when you're done all you're going to do is download uh, go share download pdf print crop marks and bleeds set it to cmyk hit download and you will get yourself a pdf print file ready to go then you can order online. So this process is easy, never been easier to do this kind of thing. Uh, make your own calendar, make a couple different ones, have different people in the family, make different ones, combine that order together. Uh, we'll just quickly see how the video or the uh, PDF turns out here, just so you can see what the final output is. It is important to know that the PNG file uh, will be the default download. We want the uh, PDF print file when we're downloading. Um, print files. This will turn out good. It may not be worth the wait here. Let's see. Well, it does do a good job downloading. There we go. 
if you've waited this long. Okay, so we got a 65 make file. And boom, now you have a perfect print PDF with your images. We got trim marks and bleed. Got our January uh, photo. Got our Rocky Mountain photo from February. All right, we didn't change it. We changed, we changed the font in August. I see Cindy's birthday's in there. So we're in good shape. So that is how you do a calendar this year. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you for watching.